Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're going to cook us up some parsnips, you know. They're super duper delicious, and parsnip soup is a great introduction if you never tried them before. Now, parsnip is a root vegetable, you know, sort of kind of looks like a carrot, but doesn't taste anything like a carrot. We're going to peel up a bunch of them, then you go ahead and whack the ends of them off, and then we're going to cube them up, you know, dice them into some bits that we can throw in the soup. Now you want to get the smallest parsnips you can, because those are going to be the most flavorful and the less woody. You know, the bigger they get, you know, the tougher they are. You don't want to fool with them. We're going to peel us up a potato and go ahead and cube that and throw it in the soup too, because parsnip can have a strong flavor, and this will help to even it out. We're going to chop us up an onion and throw it in there too because it's soup, you know, and that's what you do. Now put your soup pot on medium heat and we'll go ahead and throw a couple tablespoons of olive oil in there. Then we'll drop our onions in and stir those around for about a minute all on their own. Then dump your parsnip chunks in there. Keep on stirring, you know, we'll probably uh, push these things around for a minute or two, you know, soften those onions up a little more, get them ready for the spices. Mmm, curry. Ooh, coriander. Ah, cumin. Now stir those ingredients all up, you know, and start to mix those flavors around, and you're going to start to smell it. And, uh, and don't forget to put your potatoes in there, because it would be a real tragedy, you know, if we forgot to put potatoes in. I'm going to add two cups of broth and two cups of water, and you can use chicken broth or vegetable broth, whichever you prefer. Now turn up the heat and bring it to a bubble, then we're going to stir a little bit of salt in there, Reduce the heat down to a simmer and cover and let it cook for a half hour. Now at this point, all of those flavors are real good friends and all your root vegetables are nice and tender, but they've been bad. They've been real bad and they need to be punished. Now you'll have to decide for yourself how bad they've been, you know, but blending it up, you know, to whatever consistency you like is going to give it this rich creaminess, you know, just a fantastic texture. And you're not going to have to add any milk or cream in there at all, you know. It's, it's just going to be wonderful. So definitely throw your hand blender in there and punish them a little bit. And that's it, you know, you can ladle it up and chow down, you know, and Camera Girl loves, loves, loves this, this dish, you know, so definitely, definitely give it a try, you know. It looks a little like baby food, but boom, if you throw some coriander leaves on there, that'll take care of that. So, give it a try, let me know what you think, and bon appetit. Oh, sorry, man.